somebody behind us. You think they're tailing us? Pull over to the side of the road. We'll see who it is. See any sign of Toller's cab, do you? No, sir. Not a thing in sight. Don't see him. I don't think he went up the side road. He must be still ahead of us on the main road. Come on. Oh, I bet it was on his way to Duval's. Come on, get going. Pa, for heaven's sake, put that gun down. No, my dear brother. You publicly denounced me as a renegade in order that you might claim my inheritance. Now it's my turn. They showed it disappear. Stop! Stop! Take more hold. Jump! They can't move that tree. There's a path at the bottom of this ravine will take us right to Mr. Duval. Then we can still get there before they do. We won't have to worry about them anymore. Maybe we ought to go down and make sure. The cops will find out. We can read all about it in the papers. What's got me puzzled is that tree. Who put it across the road and why? Think it could have been meant for us? Could be. Well, we can't get by that tree. We'll have to go back and take the other road. I got a feeling that something is wrong. He must be here. His cars are out the side of the house. Come on, let's go around the back. Sure had that feeling. That must be Toller. You guessed right, Langry. Well, you didn't waste any time, did you? Just how do you mean that, Craig? It's all very simple. You got here first and bumped off Duval before we had a chance to talk to him. You know better than that. Well, if you didn't, who did? I wish I knew.
All right, fellas. We'll take them back into town. Maybe they'd like to tell their stories to the cops. You know I didn't do this, Toller. And I'm not forgetting that engine room gesture your sidekicks pulled. By the time I finish telling everybody in town about Heinrich's murder, your shooting Jug Jenks, and now this, you'll be lucky if they don't hang you. You'll never get away with that. Put them in the car, fellas. I'll telephone the police. <laughs> the police. I can give them the number of the taxi. It's 67. The police? Sure. For a change, we're on the side of the law. Langtree's the one who killed Duvall, isn't he? Yeah, that's right. Headquarters, Chief Dumont speaking. Hmm? Murdered? Duval? Yes, Jean Duval, murdered by Steve Langtree. He made his getaway in a cab, number 67, one I rented from Sawyer's garage. Where are you calling from? Duval's home. And you better get out here as quick as you can. Well, who are you? Uh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Jean Duval's been murdered. Have the men watch all roads. Pick up Steve Langtree. He's driving a taxi number 67. And have a car for me right away. Yes, sir. There's a black sedan parked in back. Must be Duval's. We'll take it back to town. Mr. Steve, you said that we is a fugitive from justice. Why did you say that? Well, we ain't killed nobody. We've got a pretty good case against us, just the same. Uh, may I ask where we are going and why? Back to town to tell the captain what happened. I want him to set the police straight about Heinrich's murder before Toller has a chance to make this case against me worse than it is. And after that, where is we going and why? Then we'll hide out in the bayous. I got the proper place to hide. Rubenor's cabin. You know where that is? Out there in the swamp someplace, isn't it? That's right. And the old cabin is still standing. It's in a mighty fine shape. Hey, what are we slowing up for? Well, use both of us going into town. You go hide out in Ruben Old's cabin, and I'll join you after I see the captain. Here, take this gun. You sure that you'll be all right? Now, don't worry. Just do as I told you. Anything you say, Mr. Steve. Monsieur Mike Tabin, it's not safe for you if the law should come to the bio to look for the Steve Landry. It's bad. You think they'll come snooping around, do you? We. Oui. I think it's better we go to Rubenau's old cabin. No one she's lived there for a long time. Well, then take me there. I'll look it over. Oui, monsieur.
Oh, Jenny, did you bring the morning glory to the landing? No, I came up on the Paducah when she picked up our passengers. Uh, Steve told me you had a tough trip. Oh, we did. Where is Steve? He went over to John de Balls to see him. And it's time he was back. I think we better do a little policing ourselves before we turn in this car. What's on your mind, boss? Help the police round up young Langtry. Where do you think he'd head for? Not his home. He might try to hide out at Captain Perrin's. That's down near the landing somewhere. Okay, we'll take a look around down there. Keep your eyes open for that cab number 67. setting a place for him. Well, I'm getting worried. He's had plenty of time to get to DeVos and back. Hello, Jenny. Did you bring the boat in? No, I came up on the Paducah. What took you so long? We've been getting worried. You have a reason to be worried. When I got there, Duvall was dead. Murdered. Gosh, Murdered? Oh, got any idea who could have done it? I know it wasn't Toller or his gang. They got there after I did. Who's Toller? A man who came up on the boat with two hoodlums. He knows as much as Heinrich did about these swamps and wanted to buy Duval's land. But that's unimportant now. The thing is, I'm accused of murder. What? You? Toller wants to pin it on Napoleon and me. He has a case. Circumstances make it look bad. Say, wait a minute. Dumont is chief of police of this town, isn't he? Yeah. He's a good friend of mine. Why don't you go down and see him and tell him all about it? And get held on suspicion while Toller and the murderer are running around loose? No, well, thanks. I'll take my chances in the swamps. But, son, that'll only make you look more suspicious. I can't help it, Pop. I'd better be going now. I've got one of Sawyer's taxis parked up on Hill Street. If you're going to hide out in the swamps, I'm going to fix you some food. It'll only take a minute. Thanks, Jenny, but hurry it up, will you? Son, where are you going to hide? In the old Rubinall cabin. Napoleon's waiting there now for me. That's the car we're looking for, all right. Come on, Chopper. Hide over in that doorway. Langston might come back. Block and I'll drive down to the landing and look things over. We'll go on down to the landing. Langley must be around here somewhere. Steve. Thanks, Jenny. Have you got a gun? Napoleon has. Keep me posted, will you, Dad? I will, Steve. I know where Rubinoff's cabin is. Thanks, Jenny. So long, sir. Take care of yourself, boy. So long. Hey, boss. Yeah? That's Cap Perrin's house, all right. His name's on the door. But it's all locked up. Let's look around the shanty booths. Keep your gun handy. Come in, Rich. That looks like Steve Langley. It is. Hold it. Get some rope, boss. 